Hey everybody, welcome to my new uh, series here on my channel. It's going to be the Maintenance Monday series here. Um, all the maintenance work I'll be doing on my R6, I will be posting uh, how-tos and uh, tips, tricks, and all that right here in this section called Maintenance Mondays. So today is the first video in the series, and I, what I have for you guys is a coolant flush on a 2008 R6. So I believe this is gonna work for 90% of the bikes. I mean, pretty common sense to do a coolant change on bikes. But more specifically, this is gonna be for the 08s through the 2015s, because I think they're the exact same thing. There's nothing different. But like I said, if you can take something away, you can probably use it on your Hondas, your Suzuki's, your Cowies. Anything, I'm pretty sure it's relatively the same. So I'm going to start off just by telling you supplies you're going to need. I have a drain bucket. You're going to need some kind of drain bucket or oil pan. Some distilled water. We get it. I got it at Kroger's. I don't know if like Kroger's is like a Michigan based company. But yeah, you can get it at Walmart. Anywhere. Funnel. It's like a buck. And then uh, some tools. Uh, I have a 10 millimeter socket. And then I have an... Uh, eight millimeter uh nut driver i was gonna use a socket but i didn't have a uh, uh an eight millimeter socket uh thing i lost it. i don't know where it's at it's probably somewhere in my garage when i was taking my bike apart but you know how that works when you lose your tools and then you're gonna need your coolant i have engine ice this is what i was told to go with um it's a half gallon and it retails for about 20 bucks i also have some uh Water, water water that I was told to put in there just a little bit it just helps to uh, run the coolant 20 degrees colder so my engine doesn't uh, I guess overheat they have no problems but um, it also protects in the winter because it does get uh, freaking cold up here and we do get some hot days in the summer but I guess I won't hurt for the uh, extra five bucks it was or something like that but uh, we'll give it a try. I never did a coolant change, so we'll see. All right, first off, let me get down. All right, on the R6, there's going to be a little nut here by your uh, water hose. So you can go ahead and you're going to take that off. All right. Pretty easy. Some coolant will start to come out, a few drips, but... Uh, Here's the nut uh, you're going to be taking out. And it has this little, I guess, brass washer on there. Um, some people say uh, go ahead and get a new one. But uh, mine looks pretty damn good. And uh, I'm not going to replace it this time. So after you uh, screw that nut, you come up to here to your radiator. And you're going to take your radiator cap off. And if I don't fail and come on bastard eh. and it will just start to drain your coolant all right so uh, I'm gonna pause this video here I'll let you guys drain your coolant and uh, we'll come back for the next step okay as you can see 90% of my coolant's out. Still drain a little bit. So next thing you're going to need to do is take that 10 millimeter uh, socket and uh, first of all come up here to your reservoir. Take that hose out. And then you're going to you're going to take these screws out. You're gonna drain this reservoir as well. Clean it out pretty good. Get all that uh, extra gunk out. I don't know how much is actually in here. It actually looks pretty clean, but it is dirty as can be in there. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of distilled water in there. And then I'm going to go, uh, I'll just rinse it out of that pan. But, uh, Doc, shut up! My dog's freaking out over there. You want to clean that out real good. Yes, yeah, so you can see the dirt. Watch how dirty this water is going to be. Alright, so. See, it's all like cloudy color. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do it one more time because it won't hurt. All right. Jax comes back in here, I'll, I'll see if he'll say hi to you guys. And then you just simply Come back here, and you're gonna uh, put those uh, bolts back in there. All right. So, at this bottom one. One and two. Of course. All right. I always freaking had trouble with the smallest, littlest things. Sorry guys, I do apologize. The first time I ever changed the coolant, so <sighs> the hell. Oh, that's why. Dirt retard. Had it gone the wrong way. Would help if uh, Sammy knew what the hell he was doing and had the socket going the right way. So after you guys got that on, we're going to also put the drain plug back in. Alright. We did that. All right, after we get that, we are going to fill our radiator up with the uh, the still water. All right. All right. Takes about a half gallon. Get, some, get a better angle for you guys. Just go slow. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter if you overflow it or fill it like I just did. <laughs> Almost.
Yeah, we're almost there. All right. We did overfill it a little bit, but it doesn't really matter because it's just water. And then you're also going to put a little water in your um, overflow. All right. Let me just move my wires out of here because it is a pain in the rear. Damn. How much do we get in there? All right, I'm gonna put just a little more in there. Let me see if I can turn my bars on my bike. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's a little bit easier to access. There we go. You kind of just want to be between your full and your um, your uh, low. All right. So after we got that, you're gonna put your radiator cap back on. Where they don't give you enough room on these damn bikes to work. All right, we got that on, and you're also gonna put your uh, hose back in your reservoir here and close that cap off. What the hell, man? I swear to God. <laughs> I have the trouble with the littlest things. All right, there we go. Okay, now that you got your um, radiator fill up with your distilled water, you have some distilled water in your reservoir, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna start your bike up. You're gonna let it run to, if I've heard anything from 144 to 180, I'm gonna bring it to 155, and then uh, we're gonna come back and I'll sh re show you how to drain everything and then uh, show you how to fill it back up with your new coolant. So turn your bike on. And uh, you just let it warm up. Get that water running throughout the system. All that distilled water, clean all that extra uh, gunk and old crap out. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll drain it. So uh, stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back. So hopefully you let that uh, uh, distilled water run through your bike for about 10 minutes uh, just so your bike gets a little heat to it um, I'll let mine go to about 155 and um, I just shut it off and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna come back to that same drain plug and I'm gonna go ahead and loosen it up and as you can see there's still quite a bit of green liquid hopefully you can get in there you want that to be clear as possible so we're going to go ahead and we're going to let that drain. We're going to let that drain and we're going to do the same process um, over again. So this liquid can come completely clear. That way we know all that uh, old coolant is a uh, out of our system so I'm gonna pause the video here I'm gonna do the same process probably one more time and then um, I'll show you how to add your uh, new coolant here so stay tuned all right guys as you can see this water is really clear um, there is no more green tint to it I did let it run um, one more time so I did one more cycle of the previous segment of this video. Um, 
refilled the uh, radiator with the distilled water and I let it run for about uh, 10 minutes. So we're gonna let this finish draining and then we'll, we'll go on to the next step. Stay tuned. All right guys, we're back. Um, hopefully you were able to get that uh, old coolant out and you had a nice clean um, stream of the clean water and your system is ready to have the new coolant in it. So for me, I selected to go with the engine ice as I stated in the uh, beginning of this video. Everyone I talked to said get engine ice. It's the best in the market. I don't know if that's true, but we'll find out, I guess. Um, it's a half gallon. My radiator takes darn near most of it. And then we'll just put a little in our reservoir over here between the uh, full and low because when your bike heats up, it will rise. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this stuff in there. We did spill a little bit, but that's not bad. All right. Let me clean that up real quick. Let me get a rack. Kick my fun all over the place. It's just water based, guys, so it's like, it's not gonna hurt nothing, but I like to just pick it up. Because some of that is gonna go back into your, uh, your reservoir over here. All right, got that cap on. Nice and good. Now I'm gonna take the rest of this engine ice. Let me turn my bars so I can get access to the hoe. <laughs> and that's what she said of the video. That looks about good. We do have a little bit left. And as you can see, like I told you guys, we are in between the low and the uh, full line um, of our overflow reservoir here. So we're gonna put the cap back on here. All right. Let's start the bike up. Let that run for a few minutes and uh, make sure your levels are good. Top off if you need it. Oh, one thing I forgot, I'm sorry guys. Um, let me step with my bike here. While it's running, I do have this wetter water stuff here. Um, I might add a few drops of that to my uh, radiator. Um, it claims that it's supposed to protect your uh, radiator um, up to 20 degrees colder. So as soon as that turns off, I'm gonna uh, add a few drops. So let's come over here. Make sure there's no leaks. Like I said, I am going to add a few drops. 
of that uh Oh, my dog is spazzing out. And just a couple drops. Alright. I think that'd be good. We are a little full, so I can always add it a little later if I need it, which I'll probably do. But that's really it, guys. That's how you change a coolant on a R6. Hope you guys like this tutorial. Minus my little um, dumb moments early in the video when I wasn't screwing the uh, screws in the right way. So leave a comment, like, um, anything you want to know. Um, leave in the comments below if you want to do, excuse me, oil changes, different maintenance stuff. If you guys want to know how to do that. Leave a comment in the section below and uh, I'll probably make a video of it. Till next time guys, see ya.